For criteria 1.1 and 1.2, we are looking at the different theories, principles and also models of learning. To begin this assignment criteria, we would like for you to explain in your own words, what does the term learning mean to you? OK, so as a teaching professional, when you go into a classroom and you see uh, learning takes place, how do you define that in your own words? We would also like for you furthermore to include some definitions um, of learning, okay? So how do others define learning and perhaps mention how it compares uh, to your own statements as well. For this assignment question, we are looking to include different principles of learning. So we'd also like for you to explain the term behaviorism, okay? Um, and how have behaviourists influenced uh, teaching and training over the years? So look at Pavlov, uh, Watson and also Skinner as well. And how have they shaped and influenced teaching for uh, this current day? Furthermore, we would like for you to explain examples of behaviourism from your own teaching practice. So look at uh, including a minimum of three examples here of behaviourism. We would also like for you to progress and to, to look at the key term of cognitivism. Do have a look in the textbook on pages 99 to 103. And furthermore, we'd like for you once again to explain how cognitivists such as Piaget have once again shaped uh, teaching as well. We'd also like for you to include some examples of cognitivism uh, within your own teaching practice. And finally, to start off this uh, assignment, we'd also like for you to include uh, which style is, is more familiar with your own teaching style, either behaviourism or cognitivism and why. OK, of course, you'll use uh, a blend of both approaches, but do explain uh, perhaps which one you uh, lean towards here. So for this uh, assignment question to start with, we are looking for a minimum of uh, 500 to 1000 words. OK, we are looking for lots of uh, teaching examples and do make sure you have a look in the textbook uh, for the different definitions of behaviourism and cognitivism to begin this assignment.